So this is my third generation of systems to maintain these batteries. The first one was like this, just left it open, in which case you gotta water it every time and last maybe 10 minutes up to a few hours. Uh, second one was uh, completely sealed with caulk and uh, a syringe to inject water and then reseal it. And that worked well except the uh, syringe hole is too small and it uh, it clogs up and you know the syringes aren't cheap. Um, so this is uh, my third solution which is a, you know, some kind of access point but here's the problem with this um, <laughs> it gets uh, wet. You don't want to get the uh, part of the magnesium strip wet that's sitting outside of the cell. Don't want that to happen because this is the result right here. Um, uh, also, it, it required more frequent watering than the syringe method. So I've got to find maybe a thick syringe that won't clog up or uh, kind of like a mini turkey baster or something. Anyway, uh, here's a little nostalgia for you. This is my first crystal cell right here, well over a year old. And um, it's copper. This is a little bit of copper and magnesium strip. And uh, it's sitting on a can lid. And I got lots of stuff on here for the crystal. It's just Epsom salt and uh, uh, carbon, activated carbon, you know, for your fish tank. You can see it's still got power. I just watered it an hour ago. And um, let's check. That's a volt and a half. And let's see the short. Not much on short. Give me a second. I'll hook up the. Uh, uh, this is a 10 millihenry simplified jewel thief. And uh, as usual, I hooked it up um, on short. But you can see the short's built up to over a uh, milliamp and it's still climbing. So that's interesting. Alright, so let will put it back on the volt setting and we'll see what we have. Alright, under load about f over half a amp and of course we have light. <laughs> 